When soil turns to dust or into hard pan, it's not dead. It's just waiting for the right conditions to live again. In dry lands around the world, people restore fertility by working with soil instead of against it. The first key is stability. When land is bare, every gust of wind and every drop of rain strips away the surface. Unstable soils can erode and may need earthworks to get plants established. But once you introduce deep rooting grasses, shrubs, or contour tree lines, they hold the ground in place. Their roots knit the soil together while their canopies slow the wind and create shade and drop leaves to create mulch. Over time, those living barriers calm the landscape and let organic matter start to rebuild. The second is moisture. In the desert, the line between life and death is often just a few centimeters of water in the soil. Ground covers, mulch, and even light shade from nearby trees keep that precious moisture from escaping. Each leaf, each layer of cover acts like a shield, breaking the force of raindrops, reducing evaporation, and giving rain time to soak in. A bit of protection turns a brief storm into lasting hydration. And the third is fertility. In the Sahel and across India, farmers dig small planting pits called zai or tasa. They fill them with compost or manure, and when the rains come, those pits concentrate runoff, moisture, and nutrients right at the roots. It's a simple design, but it transforms poor ground into rich living soil that can support trees, grains, grasses, and vegetables year after year. When soil is stabilized, shaded, and fed, it heals itself. And when soil heals, the desert begins to bloom. Are you ready to transform deserts, create lush backyards, and feed communities? This is your starting point, Oregon State University's online permaculture design course. Join us in creating a better world for everyone. See you in class.